When the Pixel remasters released, immediately people were mixed about it. They're too expensive, or the font sucks, or they're not definitive. Where's my extra dungeons? The list goes on. So to settle the debate, at least within my small community, in other words, you guys, and whoever clicked on this video outside of my small community, thank you, I decided to take an objective look at them and weigh out the pros and cons to come up with a for sure answer of whether or not you should be spending your hard earned dollars on these masterpieces of old. And whether this is your first video with us or not, welcome to the Returner's Hideout, where we take deep dives into the Final Fantasy series each and every week. And if you're not a Returner yet, that's all right. It's easy to become one, no fees or applications required. The Pixel remasters were released in a staggered manner with the first three released first, and the latter three later on over the course of around nine months or so. The list of nitpicky complaints started immediately, but I wanted to look through them and play them on my own without the influence of people who seemed a bit confused anyway. Some of the complaints were pretty solid. Like, there's already 15 versions of Final Fantasy 1 out there, why would I spend another 12 bucks on it? So on and so forth. Others were, uh, I don't know, f fix this awful font before I have a hernia. When honestly, the font wasn't that awful to begin with, and secondly, who cares? Well, today we're gonna really look at everything and come up with a definitive answer. I think a lot of the people complaining about everything are slightly missing the point of the remasters even existing to begin with. Not saying you're wrong or anything, but maybe let's look at things in a different light. To kick off this list of yeses and nos, we're gonna start, as we always do, with the no list. I do this first because maybe there's something fundamental that goes against your gaming preferences and gets you an answer faster, saving you maybe just a little bit of money. That, that didn't work at all. Let, let me do it again. Alright, I'm just gonna stop now. The first no has to do specifically with the mobile releases. I went to the app store for this one and took a gander at the remasters and immediately noticed something. Firstly, I could not find them in any sort of bundle. And at the time of writing, adding up all of the prices led to a total asking price of 96 bucks. It's $20 cheaper to get the bundle on Steam. And I know, I realize not everyone has a computer handy in order to play these. So for a select group of people, this may be the only way you can play them. Unless of course you shell out some dough for the Steam Deck. So if you're only on your phone and don't have access to a computer, Macs don't count apparently, so I'm really the odd man out here, then I would buy only one or two of them for now, maybe just to experience them in any way possible if you felt like it. I don't know though, having played them on a PC with a PS4 controller seems much better than playing on a phone. But maybe you got one of those controller things that your phone connects to. 96 bucks is a bit steep though. I'd hold out for a bit until you get a Steam Deck or a cheap laptop in your case, unless you're just dying to try one of them out just to see what the fuss is about. And if that's the case, start with either Final Fantasy 4 or 6. I'm leaning more towards 6 as always, but either one of those two and you'll sort of get the gist of why the older fans love the earlier entries so much. They're amazing. The second no is a pretty obvious no, but I'm gonna bring it up anyway just in case. Turn-based RPGs just aren't for everyone. Plain and simple though, and I'm gonna reuse an old video of mine really quickly. Chess, checkers, baseball, football, basketball, go fish, even truth or dare are all turn-based. So why hate them just because they're in video game form? Go ahead and click this card if you want to see that whole video. If turn-based gameplay isn't your thing, then I'm not really sure that, other than the story, you'd really find yourself liking these. I mean, of course, I want the whole world to love these games as much as I do, but that's not a realistic thing to want, really, and it sounds kind of selfish in a way. I don't really care, though, because these games are fantastic, although I know that turn-based RPGs are sometimes a little slow. And actually, this no can be turned into a weaker yes, and I'll show you how right now. It would allow newcomers to the RPG genre to get a real taste of everything in an evened out and more streamlined sort of way. I think that these pixel remasters are probably the greatest way right now to get into the first six games in this monumental series. All six of the games are more uniform in nature, and it allows for easier transitioning between the first six titles without having to get used to a new set of graphics or new menu layout and all that sort of stuff. And if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy VII Remake or the newer games in the series, and you just wanted to go back and play the earlier ones but couldn't find a Game Boy Advance or DS, then this is a perfect way of getting caught up in nearly all of the mainline numbered Final Fantasy games. The second yes is the quality of life improvements in the Pixel remasters are astounding. I've gone on record many times and said that Final Fantasy 2 is by far my least favorite Final Fantasy until I played the Pixel remaster of it. While it's still not my number one favorite game in the series, it moved up a few spots for sure. Playtime across the board has been lowered slightly from their original counterpart. Case in point, I played Final Fantasy 4 Pixel remaster, got all of the achievements and got to the end of the game, everyone at a very high level, and 100% of the game in around 16 hours. And I enjoyed it. it didn't feel rushed, the story was there. I think these remasters make it to where you can complete them 100% without too much trouble. Even the Final Fantasy IV pink puff thing was significantly easier, although it still took some time for sure. These quality of life improvements include the soundtracks, which I would be a complete fool if I didn't bring these up. I won't say that the remasters sound
soundtracks are better, but they definitely bring something new to the table while keeping the fans of the original soundtracks happy. It's the perfect bridge between old and new, and I absolutely love it. The third yes is the price. While I mentioned the mobile versions being more expensive, the Steam version of these games are bundled together, at least at the time of writing, for around 75 bucks. That totals out to just over $12 a piece, and I would like to take this time to point out that finding older versions of all of them right now would be significantly more expensive than just buying them here. Groceries and gas aren't the only things inflating at the moment. Retro gaming right now is kind of stupid, and the price tag that's on the remasters are a pretty solid entryway into the series right now. It would be great, though, if they released them on Switch for a collective price of $59.99. I personally would buy the Pixel remasters over and over again. I think they're fantastic. And the fourth yes has more to do with me and my story, but I decided to include it here just in case someone connected with this idea. For me, it's the only official way to play the 2D version of Final Fantasy 3. For years I wanted to play this game. When the 3D version of it came out for the Nintendo DS, I ate it up, and I played it from beginning to end in a relatively short amount of time. But I still wanted to play the original version of it that had all the characters together in the beginning of it, and I didn't have to walk around trying to recruit anyone. I once downloaded the ROM of it to play with an NES emulator, and I felt incredibly guilty for doing it. I wanted to play it on some sort of official hardware and get it straight from Square instead of a fan translation. Not to say that the fan translation's bad or anything, I just wanted a more official version. So the 2D version of Final Fantasy 3 was sort of an elusive thing that I thought I would never play, but now here it is on Steam and I love it. Also it's been brought up that the pixel remasters are a bit of a cash grab. And while I covered it just a little bit here, I actually call some people out for being completely wrong in this video. 